Hello, and welcome to another Mr. Carico and Radar Video Production. Wow. All right, so you have completed your input-output tables. Now it is time for you to create your own. So what you're going to do is these are tabs down here. You're going to come down to the bottom. You're going to hover over the plus. You're going to click on plus. Okay, when you do that, you will get a new sheet. In this case, it's called sheet four. So I am going to, let me turn on the moist pounder, pointer always forget that. I am going to two finger click or right to um, get rename. I'm going to call this mine one and press enter. When I do that, now I can tell that that is my input output table number one. All right, first thing, you're going to go to A1. You're going to call that input. You're going to go to B1. And you're going to call that output. All right, now you need to know your rule. So in this case, you can make it as complex or as easy as you want. For me, I'm going to do multiplication. So I'm going to say I am going to multiply by 4, right? So here's the deal. My input, first one, is going to be 2. 2 times 4, my output would be 8. All right. Another input, let's do 4. 4 times 4 would be 16. You have to create your table first. Uh, and you do have to go sequentially. You can't just go, like you have to increase your numbers. So I couldn't do 3 next. So I'll do 6. 6 times 4 is 24. All right. Let's do the next one. Um, let's jump it up a bit. Okay, I'm not going to do a full table, but I want to give you the idea. So let's say I put 10 in here. 10, still larger than 6, right, times 4 is 40. All right, now that I've got my input, my output, what I need to do is I need to skip column C to give me some space. So I come over, <clears throat> I press and hold, and once I've got this little box down here, I can drag. So drag over. Oh, it's not going to let me do that. Sorry, my bad. You're going to have to press and hold until this whole thing is blue. Once it's blue, you go to Edit, Copy. You're going to come over to D1. Click one time, Edit, Paste. Okay, now you will have your table in here. All right, now it is time for your um, conditional formatting. All right. What you are going to do is we are going to start in the D column. We're going to check that our input from here matches our input from here. So watch what we do. I come down to my first number, which is in cell D2. I go to, I believe it's format. Yep, format. I do conditional formatting. Okay, right now it's going to make it green. I don't want it. Um, Here's what I want it to do. I'm going to click on done for a second here. Yeah. I need to change this one. So I go into it and I change format cells if. If the cell is empty, that's what I want to come down to. So I scroll down, scroll down. Where is it? Oh, is empty. Okay. I don't want it to be green, so I'm going to scroll down here. I want it to have a white background, so I click on this. I don't want my text to be green, so I will click on the A, and I will go to black. All right, so if it's empty, I want it to um, be a white background with black text, which would basically be nothing, All right? Now, I'm going to add a new rule. Because if this input matches my input over here from A2, right, I want it to be green. So I click on Add Rule. I do if cell is equal to is what you're looking for, is equal to. So I do if cell D2, that's this one, is equal to, I want it to be A2. Because this is my input, the same one. See it? Full two. So if the number that I put in here matches A2, so I'm going to do value formula. I do equals. 
which is next to your backspace or delete button. The cell I'm after is A2, so I type capital, so I do a shift, A, and 2 is what I'm after because it's in row 2, 2. I press it. All right, so if D2, which is right here, see it, if this cell is equal to A2, which is right here, I do want it to be a default or a green background. Yeah, right? Because you've got it. I can leave my text as black and I'm done. Okay. So let's check. I'm going to delete my cell. I come up here. I press delete. I press enter. Is it white? Yep. If I go up and I press 2, does 2 match A2? it does, I press enter, turns green. That's working. Now the last thing I need to do is, I'm going to go up here, I'm going to delete that, so I've got a white cell. Last thing is if the number I put in D2 does not equal A2, I want it to be red. So I'm going to add a new rule. If D2, which is this cell, is not equal to a2, which is what I want, so I do equals A2, shift A2, I want it to be red to say, hey, you've got the wrong number, I do done. So let's check, so if my cell is blank, it should be white. If my cell, or what I put in D2, equals A2, which is right here, right, and that's what I'm looking for. I want it to be green, so I'm good there. If the value in D2 does not equal A2, right, I want it red. So let's try. Blank, I'm white. If I put 2 in there, which is what I'm after, 2, I should get green. Enter, green. If I put 3 in there, which does not match 2, I should get red. That works. Great. Now, here's what I do. I come up here. When this is blue, I grab this box. I come down to cover all my numbers. All right, oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, we'll try it. We'll see what happens. Okay, so let's see if it works. Ready? Here we go. Two, enter, green. Let's go back up. Three, enter, red. Delete, enter, white. All right, my input, if it's four, come over here, four, enter, green. If I put five, enter, it's red. If I go back up and delete, should be white. So my inputs are working, okay? Now the next thing I need to do is I need to come over here. If I look, I don't have any rules. I need to do the same thing here. If, but I need to match my outputs, to my outputs. So I'm going to add a new rule. So here we go. Add a new rule. If E2 is empty, oh, cell is empty. I want it to be white. I want it to have a green background, so I'm going to come in going to go to white. I don't want my text or my letters to be green, so I will come down to black. Oops. Black. All right. I'm done. Now, if my E2, my output, matches my output from over here, V2, I want it to be green because that's the right number. So if E2 is equal to, scroll down, is equal to, what cell? This one, which is B2. See it? B2. So I do equals shift B2. I want it to be green, and that looks good, so I save that rule. Done. All right. Now I click back on it. I can see if on my cell, E2.
If it's blank, I should have a white background. If E2 matches B2, which is what I want, it should be green. Last thing is if E2 does not match B2, I want it to be red. So I click Add Rule. If E2, that's this cell, is not equal to what cell? B2. So I come down here in my value formula equals shift B2. I want it to be red to say, hey, you've got the wrong number. I click on done. <clears throat> come back to E2 to see if all my rules are there. Yep, white, green, red. So here we go. To copy these to the other cells, I press and hold, I drag down. Now, <clears throat> we'll get rid of our numbers. Delete, let's see. Um, delete, delete, delete. Okay, so let's double check our outputs, just our outputs. If I put 8 in, it should turn green. 8, enter, yep. 16, enter, yep. 24, enter, green. 40, enter, yep, green. Let's try one on all of them. I should get red. One, enter, one, enter, one, enter, one, enter. Okay, my table is working. So if I delete these, delete, enter, okay. Here's the last step. You have to give people hints. So <clears throat> if I do my input, I'm going to do, going from just my input, I am going to do two, enter. I'm going to do four, enter. I'm going to do six so people can see what I'm doing, all right? Now, for this last out input, I'm going to leave that out. My output, I have to give them a hint. So for two, I'm going to say the first one is eight. I'm going to leave four blank, all right, because I want them to figure it out. Six times four is 24, so I do have to give them this hint. And then my last one is 40. If my output is 40, what is my input? All right, now I've got a table where people have to come back and guess. Hey, if I, my input is 2 and I'm getting 8, that's times 4. If my input is 4, what's my output going to be? All right, you gotta, you got to help them out there. Okay, last thing you've got to do is you have to hide these cells so people can't see your rule. So what you do is you press and hold on A, scroll over to B until they are blue, and you click on the arrow. You do hide columns A and B. When I do that, they're gone. Now people have to figure out, hey, what's my rule? Four times, let's try one, which would be four. Does that work? No, it's not uh, four times one. Four times two would be eight. Does eight work? Um... No, so it's not 4 times 2. 4 times 3 would be 12. Does that work? No. 4 times 4 would be 16. Does, oh, so now somebody can figure out your chart. All right, now it is your turn to make your own input-output table.